Uh, this is our first virtual Kundalini with her, and I think her first over Zoom ever. Um, we're really excited to have her, and she's going to be doing this the next six weeks every Saturday at 10, 15 a.m. PST. Um, up until she has a baby, I think May, around uh, the beginning of May. She is very beautiful and pregnant right now, and I'll let her do her thing. Um, and we will be recording this too, so if you want to watch this later or enjoy it later, you can do so. We're going to email everybody um, with a link to the recording. Thank you so much, and enjoy, enjoy this class. Welcome. It's so good to see you all. And uh, thank you so much, Natalia, for the introduction. I am thrilled to be able to start teaching again. It's been a couple weeks. I am uh, down in Mexico. I taught a retreat a couple weeks ago. And with all the stuff coming up with the epidemic and my baby on the way, Yeshua and I decided to hunker down in a little village in Yalapa in a small spiritual community. So we're staying posted on everything um, and super tuned in and at the same time just really immersed in nature. So thank you all so much for showing up. Um, today I'm gonna to be moving through a series of Kriyas. These Kriyas are for working with the spinal uh, column and the central channel, the Shashumna Nadi, to help just really bring fluidity and flow through this channel. Sometimes when there's energetic blocks, emotional blocks, physical blocks along that central channel, we can um, kind of get stuck um, and different emotions can present themselves, even physical pains and whatnot. So I wanna just really work with you to help balance and clear and realign today. Um, now more than ever, we're being asked to really show up in our steadiness, um, to show up for ourselves and for community. So um, yeah, just such, a, such an honor to be here. Let's go ahead and come into a comfortable seated position Close your eyes, take a deep inhale, exhale out your mouth. Again, take a deep inhale and exhale out the mouth. This time inhale, fill the belly, the ribs, the chest, fill yourself up like a giant balloon and hold your breath. Feel yourself brimming over with breath as you suspend, buoyant and full. And with a powerful exhale, empty through the mouth. All the breath out. Go, 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 go. Lock the breath out and hold. Suspend. Tune into the stillness and the central alignment of your spine. Sense the ground below you. Again, inhale deeply through both nostrils. Again, fill belly, ribs, chest. Go deep, go wide, go full. Once you're there, hold it. Good. Feel the rib cage expand, the chest and heart lift. And out through the mouth, exhale powerfully, audibly, empty all the air. Go, 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 empty. And then lock the breath out. Again, sense your central alignment. Steady through your sit bones, legs, and feet. Lift it through the spine, center of the sternum, crown of the head, natural breath in, and natural breath out. Good, bring your palms together and rub your hands, creating some heat. As we rub the palms, we naturally begin to heal and calm the nervous system, opening the chakras of the hands, extensions of our hearts. Find a stillness with the palms in prayer at your heart center. Let's tune in together by chanting Ong, O-N-G, Namo, Guru Dev, Namo. We chant this mantra three times to connect us to this lineage of Kundalini Yoga. 
when we chant this mantra, we invoke the infinite creative consciousness, Ong. Namo, I honor, I bow with humility. Guru, you call upon the great inner wisdom that you carry. Dev calls on the unseen force, the subtle unseen force. Namo, I honor and bow. Let's draw the chin down and in a hair so the spine is long. And we'll chant three times here. Inhale deeply. Om Namo Guru Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Inhale deeply. Suspend your breath, breath and gently lift at your pelvic floor, perineum for men. Hold. Exhale. Take a moment to set a silent intention for your practice. A prayer for returning to center a prayer for fluidity, flow, and agility through the central spine, the central channel. And release your hands down to your knees. We're gonna go inward. We're gonna listen deeply to the sensations in the body and to the breath. Go ahead and round back through the spine and begin to rotate your rib cage and torso around in a circle. This is a Sufi grind. As you round through the spine, sense your sit bones, your legs, your feet firmly planting down, your roots growing deep into the earth. Begin to breathe fully, circulate your breath. Now more than ever, we're being invited to fully inhabit, to fully explore and return to our bodies as our anchor. Feel your sit bones, your legs, your feet, the tip of your tailbone as your anchor. Breathe deeply and find your breath into the movement. And when you're ready, switch the direction. And return to center, inhale, 
Suspend your breath once again, lifting in your root lock. Draw the navel point gently in just below the belly button. Sternum lifts, chin draws in a hair towards the throat. And exhale. Relax for a moment and sense your body welcome and open to all the sensations circulating through you and around you. Excellent. We're going to send the right leg wide, left sole of the foot into your inner thigh. You're going to reach your left arm up, gaze towards your palm, and then exhale, fold over your leg, facing your knee, and continue. Inhale as you reach, and exhale as you fold. Activate the right foot as you flex, and keep going with your breath. Inhaling as you rise and exhale as you fold. Keep the eyes closed and begin to work with your mantra sucked on the in-breath. Nam on the out breath. Sat meaning truth and nam meaning self or identity. We're going to develop here. You're going to place your palm to the earth and stretch your right arm up and overhead and then exhale fold reaching up reach and then fold keep going energy out the hands and the fingers and fold good keep going open expand stretch inhaling sat and exhaling numb And adding on from here, you're gonna lift your hips into the air, all the way up, rise, and all the way down, good. All the way up, rise, and all the way down. Keep going. Take two more. On your third one, rise all the way up and hold. Stretch through the body, through the fingertips, gorgeous, through the leg, and slowly lower down. Switching sides. Good. You inhale, reach through the right arm and exhale, fold. Keep going, reach and exhale, fold. Continue with your breath, continue with your mantra. And adding on, reach the left arm up, and exhale as you fold. E reaching up, and exhale, fold. Keep going. Flow with your movement, flow with your breath. And adding on, lifting the hips, sliding them up, reaching through the arm, 
and coming on down. Good. Keep going and find your pace. Beautiful. Take one more. And the last one, come all the way up. Hold, reach, extend. And gently come down. Come on to your hands and your knees. Spread your fingers wide, round through the tops of the feet and the knees. Inhale as you arch through the spine, exhale as you round. Inhaling as you arch, exhale as you round. Keep going, find your breath and find your rhythm. Inhale, arch to the spine, suspend the breath, lifting up the root lock, hold. Exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest, breath out, hold. Come back into a child's pose. Draw your hips back, release your forehead to the ground. Beautiful, slowly come up onto your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes under and lift your hips into the air, coming into a downward facing dog. As you arrive in your downward facing dog, pedal through your heels, shifting in your hips side to side, opening up your body. Feel your fingers spread wide. Imagine eyes underneath your palms opening wide to the earth. Imagining eyes underneath the soles of your feet opening wide to the earth. And now in the stillness of your downward dog with your full intention, imagine you're drawing the energy of the earth that is deep grounding and nourishing up through your palms and the soles of the feet traveling up through the limbs filling and flooding the core of your being with life force and vitality and as you exhale you empty you release you let go anything that your being does not want to carry with you any longer into the earth Continue a few cycles of breath, drawing in the nourishment through the palms and the soles of the feet, exhaling as you empty. Then slowly walk your feet forward towards your hands coming into a forward fold. Your feet are hip distance, dangle through the spine and the head. If you wanna grab a hold of your elbows, you can do so. Relax through the back of the neck, please soften through the jaw and the eyes. 
And then deeply bend through both knees and take your time as you roll up very slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Good. Bring your feet wide apart, about shoulder distance. Just begin a little bounce through your legs, a little bounce, good. Let your arms swing. Release your jaw and release your breath. Good. And then just begin to shake out your body a little bit. Shake out through the limbs and the fingers. Shake out through your feet, through your head. And I just want you to take a moment to let your whole body release itself. So let go. Good. Just for a minute, let it go. Good. Breathe. Let me hear your breath. Yeah, go. Shake it out, shake it out. Go, go, go. Shake it out. Head, neck, spine, feet, hands, and begin to bring it in. Slow it down. Good. Feet are right underneath your hips. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And exhale the hands down to your heart. Once again. And hands down to your heart. Good. Let's bring the feet wide. Turn them out. Bring your arms wide. Bring the pointer finger and thumb tip together. You're gonna inhale, rise, bringing the three fingertips together, the six, and come on down. Take it up and over to the right. Tap the fingertips together and back down. To the left and back down, deep. Center and back down. To the right. Back down, gorgeous, to the left. Back down, once more, center. Down, up and over. Down, up and over. Down, good, this time up, connect the hands. And tongue out, breath out, deep, wide, exhale, hands wide. Once more, reach up and out. Stay low, hands to your knees, inhale. Twisting, center, twisting, center, twisting, center. Last time, twisting, center, parallel the feet, sweep the arms up, gather your energy, call all parts of yourself here and round. Walk the feet in, good. Ground into your right leg, bringing the left sole of the foot either to the inner thigh, or to the hip crease with the sole of the foot facing upward. Bring your palms together in prayer and then send the arms straight upwards to the sky. This is the beginning of the Kriya, our first Kriya for the alignment of the spine. Breathe steady, become as still as a tree.
Keep the palms pressing together overhead. Lift up and out of the waistline, ground deeply through the sole of your foot. Good, lifting the knee parallel. Slowly lower the sole of the foot to the earth. Bring your palms together in prayer and release the arms by the side. Sensing the difference between left and right side of the body without moving. Shifting sides, ground into left sole of the foot. Right sole of the foot comes up to a tree or bringing the sole of the foot upwards, placing the heel into the hip crease. Palms together in prayer. Keep the palms pressed together, extend the arms up. Find a steady point of focus and breathe. Lengthen up through the spine, lift up and out through the waistline, anchor through your standing leg. <laughs> Lifting your knee parallel, slowly lower the sole of the foot to the earth and bring your palms together in prayer. Release the arms by your side and just sense the body, left and right sides, harmonize. Take the feet shoulder distance, turn the feet out, interlace the fingers over the head, Press the crown of the head into your palms, elbows wide, inhale. Exhale down as low as you can, keeping the heels onto the earth. Inhale as you rise, keep going. Exhale down, inhale as you rise, exhale down. Beautiful, keep going. Each time you rise, press the crown of the head into your palms. Breathe deeply, work with your mantra, sat on the in-breath, nam on the out-breath. Beautiful, the next time you rise, inhale. Suspend the breath for a moment. Exhale, release the arms by your side. Parallel your feet, release your hips. Sense your body, open, receptive. Please watch me once. I'm gonna take this to the side. I'm coming back down into the squat position. I'm gonna take my hands around and place them on top of my feet, lengthening through the spine. I'm gonna lift the buttocks 11 times up and down, 
Inhaling as I rise, exhaling as I lower. And then pause. All together, let's try it. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling as you rise. Chin level to the ground, spine is long. Make modifications if you need. You can bring your palms towards the earth. And then you pause. Good. Keep going. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Just bouncing the buttocks a couple of inches. Work with gravity. Feel the connection you have to the earth. Please feel the extension of your spine. You want your spine as level as possible to the ground. Your heels are anchored. Make adjustments as needed. We're not here long. Keep going. Beautiful work. Beautiful, complete two more rounds. Excellent, lift your hips, parallel the feet, take a forward fold. Release through the crown of the head, the back of the neck. Easy through the jaw. Bending in both knees, slowly roll up through the spine, taking your time, vertebra by vertebra. Bring your feet out even a little wider, turn them out and reach your arms wide. You're gonna lower your right palm down towards your ankle or your foot. As you reach your left arm high, gaze downward. Breathe slowly, breathe deeply, long through the spine once again. Inhale as you rise, reach and switch sides. So this is different than the triangle. The feet will remain slightly turned out. No adjustment of the feet, long through the spine. Slight Jalandardaban. Good, rising up, reach, and switch. Rising up, reach, and switch. Rising up, reach and switch. Rising up, reach and switch. Rising up, reach, last time, each side, switch. Rising up, reach, and switch. Excellent, all the way up. Walk the feet in, release the arms by the side. And now come to sit down cross leg. Beautiful. So that was the completion of the first Kriya. The second one is continuing to work with the spine. We're going to get much more uh, small, silent, deep listening, more subtle, okay? 
I wanted to share with you as we entered into this next Kriya, a poem that I love by Rumi. And this poem speaks to all the visitors that we have, all the thought forms, the emotions, the beautiful visions, and the very difficult emotions or sensations that we experience. And he's speaking to how can we welcome all, welcome all of these respectfully, with care, with love, not to push away, not to cling to, but allow them to move through our home because maybe they have some precious message for us. Maybe there's something that is looking to process through. So it's called the guest house. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival. A joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all. Even if they are crowd of sorrows to violently sweep your house empty of its furniture, still treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful to whoever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. So as we move into the second Kriya that requires deep listening and accountability with our thoughts, with our intention and focus, see what happens if you just allow whatever emotions, whatever thoughts to move through you without judgment, with gentleness, with care, but not being swept away, allow them to move through you. So this means returning to your breath, returning to the sensations that you are experiencing. All right, here we go. Please come into a cross leg position if you're not already there. You're gonna bring your hands to your feet like so. And just begin spinal flexes. Inhale as the chest draws forward and exhale as you round back. Your chin remains level, so the head isn't moving up and down. The lumbar and thoracic spine is moving. As you close your eyes, please go deeply inward as you chant silently, sat on the in-breath and nom on the out-breath. The eyes are closed, they focus in and up to your third eye center. You clear the mind and train it, align it with this mantra of sat nam, sat meaning that which does not change, that which is always full and complete, that which is my consciousness, nam. This is my identity, this is who I truly am. Beautiful, go deeply, please work your spine fully. Increase the spinal fluids. Beautiful work. And now return to center and inhale. Suspend your breath, lifting at your root log, navel gently in, chest up, chin in. Wide open central channel, sense your grounding and exhale. Energy rains down. Chakra by chakra. Relax for a moment, sense your body. Welcome all the sensations. 
all the visitors, all the guests. And then please come to sit on your heels, hands resting on your knees, your thighs. And then same thing, inhale, chest forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Eyes closed, go inward. Inhaling sat, exhaling non. Let's be with whatever life is bringing us. Whether it comes in the form of a great joy or a great difficulty. Open yourself to whatever life is bringing you. Internally and externally. Go deep, feel the movement of your spine, increase the flow of the spinal fluids that feed the 72,000 naughty energy channels that flood your body, bring new life, vibrate true name, sat nam. And inhale. Again, suspend the breath, lifting up the root, navel in, chest up, chin in, hold, sense, central channel. And exhale. Relax, soften, release for a moment. Fade into stillness. Please come to sit cross-legged. Bringing your fingertips to your shoulders, your elbows are wide. Inhale as you twist to the left, exhale as you twist to the right, and then let the momentum take you from side to side. Inhaling left, exhaling right. Inhale, center. Again, suspend, lift at the root lock, navel in, hold. Exhale and relax, soften, receive. Be with whatever life throws at you. Allow your attitude and your commitment to greet it without judgment. Be present with us welcoming it all. Bring your left palm in front of you, right palm in front of that. So your left palm faces away, your right palm faces in. You hook at your fingers and your elbows are wide. You're gonna inhale, lift your left elbow high, exhale your right elbow high, and continue. Inhale, left high, exhale, right high. As you pull on your hands, you'll feel the back engage, the shoulder blades, scapula draw in and down. Feel your shoulders drag down the back body. Keep going. Hands right in front of the chest.
and inhale center. Suspend the breath, pull on your hands, feel your shoulders engage, your back body engage. Beautiful hold. Exhale and relax. Close the eyes, open to your sensory perception. Try not to push away anything or cling to anything. It's like it's all moving downstream, passing through your awareness as you witness. Your hands ground onto your knees. You're gonna inhale the chest forward, exhale back. One more round of spinal flex with your hands anchored onto your knees. Inhale, chest forward, exhale back. Beautiful. Please work this out in your body. Give yourself a chance. We're all holding so much right now. There may be more stress, maybe more emotion, maybe more worry inside of your life right now. Here's an opportunity for your body to metabolize. This is the genius of the body, somatics, body wisdom, the transformation, the alchemization of that which the body is storing and holding. Please work it through. Inhale forward, exhale back. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. The mantra acts as a knife, as a tool to clear and cut the habitual workings of the mind, the habitual patterns. So we just recenter, reattune to a new mantra, a new thought form, one that aligns us with our soul. And inhale, suspend the breath, lift at the rulog navel and chest up, chin in and hold. Exhale, soften and release, jaw soft, tongue soft, easeful and open. Just observe what's happening within you. Beautiful. Now we're going to lift the shoulders, squeeze them up to your ears. Exhale as you drop them down. Then find a swift pace that's rhythmic. Inhale up, exhale down. We've been moving up through the central channel. We're now entering the area of the throat, Shuddha Chakra. Working the glandular system. Keep going. Inhale up, exhale down. And really work the muscles of the neck and the shoulders. We're not here long. We bring energy, toning to this area that may not get this kind of attention or movement. So just be with it for a moment. Beautiful. Keep going. Yes. All right, inhale, shoulders up. Suspend the breath, lifting at the root, navel in, hold. Exhale, deeply relax. Soften in the jaw, soften in the sides of the neck. Shoulders relaxed.
Ah, you're going to begin to circle your head to the right. Please take five slow, complete circles. Melting the skin of your face. Remove any masks, melting them away, any concerns, melting them away. Beautiful. When you complete your five circles, switch to the other direction. Notice your breath. Experience the breath dropping all the way down into the bowl of your pelvis. Deep belly breaths. Feel the ballast of your ship the ballast of your hips and pelvis and sit bones and buttocks. And when you complete those five circles, return back to neutral, chin level to the ground. Once again, left palm faces outward in front of the heart, right palm faces in, hooking at your fingers. Again, left palm forward, right palm facing in and hooking the fingers. Just gently pull, feel your sternum subtly lift. Take a deep inhale. Suspend your breath as you lift your root lock and feel the gorgeous length through your spine, subtle Jalandad bond at the throat. Hold your posture and exhale, empty the body of breath, all the air out and lock the breath out. Lifting again at the root lock, feel your navel lift, feel your gentle Jalandad bond at the throat. And then inhale, hands over the crown of the head. Suspend your breath as you lift at your root, navel in, sense your central channel, gorgeous alignment of the spine, wide open through the crown, wide open through the root, hold your posture, exhale. Empty the body of air and once again, hold the posture as you lock the breath out, lifting in the root, navel in. Inhale the hands in front of the heart. Suspend, lifting in the root. Hold, lengthen through the spine. Feel the arms engage, scapula engage. Exhale, empty the body of air. Breath out, go. Hold the breath out, lock it out. Lifting at the root, lock, navel in, long through the spine. Sensing this great column of light through the center of the spine. Take the hands over the crown, inhale, lifting, reach, root through the sit bones. Hold your posture, exhale, empty, empty, lock the breath out, maha ban, muvan, udiyam ban, jalandat ban, ho. Last time, hands in front of the chest, inhale. Gently pull, lifting up the root lock. Find that gorgeous posture of the yogi that you are, sitting on your throne, steady within. Hold your posture, exhale, empty. Lock the breath out, hold. Lastly, inhale, hands over the crown. Last time, lift, expand, radiate from your core, your gorgeous essence in all directions. It's beautiful, hold your posture, exhale, empty, 
breath out, lock it out, hold, root lock, navel in, chin gently in, and relax, relax, sense your body, gorgeous work, stay with yourself. Finally, come to sit on your heels. We're gonna do Sat Kriya. Women, take the left thumb over the right, index finger extended. Men, take the right thumb over the left, index finger extended. We're gonna extend the arms straight up towards the sky. Lengthen the tip of the tailbone down. Hug the elbows in towards your ears, front of the ribs in. Eyes gaze at your third eye center as the eyes are closed. Let's chant powerfully the mantra, Sat Nam, pumping the navel to the spine as you chant Sat Nam, navel releases. Here we go. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat. And inhale, suspend the breath, squeeze at your root lock and squeeze all the way along the spine up towards the crown of your head, all the way up, hold, hold, hold. And then exhale, hold your posture, breath all the way out, empty, empty, empty. Lock the breath out, Mahaban, lift at the root, navel in, chest up, chin in, hold. Squeeze energy from your root all the way along the spine, up through the crown. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, relax, envision your energy melting and settling all the way down chakra by chakra balancing like the sand in a dust storm settling right back down to its new placement upon the earth perfect alignment 
relax, release, gorgeous work, beautiful work. And then go ahead and make your way onto your back to relax completely for a few minutes. You've worked very strongly with your central channel and with the spine, doing some lovely realignment and adjustments. And now it's time to deeply relax and receive the benefits of your practice, and this is just as important as any posture or exercise we've done, so that things can really land and integrate. So take a moment, come onto your back, close your eyes, and melt into the ground. Feel the support of the earth below you. And as you rest here, I'll share with you once more the guest house. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor welcome and entertain them all. Even if they're a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture, still. Treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whatever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. Hello, all you people. 
you hold the gift of grace. If you look deep inside your heart, you surely find your way. Sunken skies and morbid seasons open your destiny. You have this chance to share this life and dance a wild and free. Look into the eyes of each soul green and black. Pass them with your love. It will raise you to such great heights, soaring and divinity. There is so much magnificent near the ocean. Waves are coming, waves are coming in. There is so much magnificent near the ocean. Waves are coming. Waves are coming in. There is so much magnificent near the ocean. Waves are coming in. Waves are coming. Gently coming back to your breath. Bring awareness into your fingers and your toes as you dance them back away. Stretch your arms out overhead. Hug your knees in towards your belly and gently rock from side to side. Drop your knees to the right as you twist. Take the left arm wide, gazing over the left shoulder. Bring out your spine one last time. And take a twist to the left. Beautiful, coming back to center. Bring the soles of the feet together, the palms together. Rub your hands and your feet, awakening these chakras. And then you can rock and roll up to find a comfortable, meditated, seated position. If you want the spine long, if you're 
knees feel they need a different position, you can sit on the knees. You can place a bolster or a blanket underneath your sit bones and your pelvic floor. Um, traditionally, right now, I'm sitting cross-legged. That's beautiful. Good. So we're going to close with a meditation that I've been working with the past few weeks. This meditation is to help balance the five tattvas, the five elements. A way to do this is by bringing the five fingertips together as they each represent one of the elements in Eastern tradition. Um, while we do this meditation, we're going to be working on balancing the left and the right hemispheres of the brain. And we're going to help eliminate any excess stress that the body may be holding right now. So what's going to happen is you'll bring the tips of the fingers together and then powerfully press that first segment of the fingers together right in front of the heart. Good. The eyes are going to focus down towards the tip of your nose so that the eyes are crossed. Again, right at the tip of the nose, the eyes focus. I'd like you to inhale deeply through both nostrils, slowly and completely, take your time. Then you're gonna exhale through an O-shaped mouth eight times with powerful strokes, pumping the navel to the spine. In Inhaling through both nostrils, slowly, deeply, and completely. Eight equal strokes out the rounded lips. Inhaling slowly, deeply, and completely. Out through the O-shaped lips. Keep going, slow, deep, complete in-breaths through both nostrils. Eight equal strokes of the breath out through rounded lips as you pump the navel to the spine on each exhale. Please keep the eyes focused at the tip of your nose. Beautiful. Meditate upon the breath. Meditate exactly where you're at inside of the breath cycle. Remain present, accountable with the thoughts. When you find yourself drifting off, return to the breath, return to the dristy eye focus at the tip of the nose, gentle pressure in all of the fingertips. Beautiful, stay with your breath. Breathe deeply, fill the belly, the lungs, the chest. Emptying in those eight equal strokes out through those rounded lips, powerful exhales.
final round. Inhale deeply when you complete that final round. Suspend your breath, gently squeeze at your root lock, move on, gently press the fingertips together, sense the five elements within your body, earth, water, fire, air, ether. Exhale. And then inhale, reach the arms high and shake your arms out. Shake them, shake them, release through the fingers, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders. Shake, 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 keep going, move it through your body. Shake, shake, shake. And relax. Close the eyes, go inward. Open to all the sensations. Come into a deep meditative state of consciousness. Where the separate self-identity softens into stillness. Sense this state of being as pure and clear. In Kundalini Yoga, this is known as the zero point, the point of absolute stillness. Beautiful. Once again, rub your palms. And just find prayer at your heart. I'll speak the long time sunshine one time through an old Irish song that we often close with in Kundalini Yoga. And then you can join me. We can chant it all together the second time. Just offering this blessing both to yourself and to our world that needs it so much right now, the remembrance of the light within. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on all together. May the long time sun shine upon you all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on let's seal our practice with three sat noms inhaling deeply to chant so Bowing your head towards your hands, offering gratitude for these bodies to inhabit and remind us to return back to this very moment for these generous hearts that are being called upon to act with gentleness, kindness, and care towards ourselves and all beings. May you take a deep inhale, cup your hands and blow that breath into your palms. 
holding your palms with a sacred breath. Inhale once more. Place your hands over your body as you exhale. Receive that healing energy that you have generated here today. Again, take a deep inhale. Cup your palms, blow the breath into your hands. Cup that sacred breath as you take an inhale. Think of one person in your life that could use this healing energy. Inhale and exhale. Visualize them as you pass the palms away and send that healing energy in their direction to be received. Thank you all so much for being here. Such a gift, such an honor. I hope that we can continue these Saturday calls and I'm figuring out the Zoom thing and um, it will get more technically savvy as I get, get going with it. Um, I also wanna share that on Monday um, from eight to 9 a.m. 